Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Houston Rockets. No one realizes what the Houston Rockets are currently doing. The Houston Rockets are now starting to get a little bit of attention after their win on Sunday night against the Denver Nuggets. The Rockets have not played at all this week. They had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off. They'll get back at it on Friday in the NBA in-season tournament against the Los Angeles Clippers and their old pals James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and P.J. Tucker, and maybe even someone else who also played for the Rockets, Daniel Tice. I call them the Los Angeles Rockets. Just kidding. Uh, but the Rockets right now are playing great basketball. They have the biggest winning streak in the NBA with the Timberwolves and the 76ers both losing this week at six games in a row. They have beat good teams, and you can make excuses about, oh my god, this team didn't have this player, but she still lost by 34 points. And I'm talking to you guys, Lakers fans. Rockets beat the Lakers by 34 points. They didn't have Anthony Davis, but they had the supposed GOAT in LeBron James. Uh, LeBron James, I'm, I'm not hating over LeBron because I like LeBron. But LeBron James, he if you if you have LeBron James and you have some good players around him like you got D'Lo, you got Austin Reeves, you have some other solid players on your roster. Even if even though I know the Rockets have improved and they're without Anthony Davis, there's still no excuse losing by 34 points. I know the Nuggets just didn't have just didn't have Jamal Murray when the Rockets beat them, but the Rockets played a really good game. And even though the Rockets have improved their team and they're not the team they were last year, or the year before, or the year before that. But the Denver Nuggets still have the best player in the NBA, the best player in the world right now, Nikola Jokic. So that is extremely hard, especially when he's had a game like he had on Sunday. He had 36, 21, and 11, and the Rockets still won. So even though the Nuggets didn't have Jamal Murray, and I, I will say, I mean, that's the Rocket, the Rockets probably would have lost if the, if, the, if the Nuggets had Jamal Murray. But it's still a really good win because the Nuggets are still a better team than the Rockets without Jamal Murray. And um, I think right now that's a really good win for the Rockets. And the, the Rockets beat a Pelicans team who had Brandon Ingram and had Zion Williamson. Uh, they beat a team who, um, and, you know, beat the team in the Lakers, beat the Kings twice. I know the Kings didn't have the Aaron Fox, but beat them by 25 and 20. And in that game where we won by 25, we were up by 40 points at one moment. And then our other win is against the Hornets. And they're playing great basketball. They're playing great team basketball, moving the basketball around really well. They're top 10 in a lot of the advanced stats right now, uh, team in advanced stats. And uh, they're playing great basketball right now. It's, it's in, it's in, and some of their players are in top 10 uh, player advanced stats as well. I mean, I'll, you know, player impact a- estimate, Alperen Sengun is at number 10 with 17.2. Um, I believe there are a couple other players from the Rockets that are um, on the on those potentially. I don't, I'm not sure, though. I, Alperen Sengun is the only one that I know is on there. But the Rockets and oh, Jay Sean Tate on the assist turnover is 8th with 5.5. 5. But I think that's the only advanced player stats for the Rockets. I could be wrong, though. But there are team advanced stats that the Rockets are top 10 in. Um, you have player player impact estimate. The Rockets, as a team, are number 6, 52.3. They were top 10 in offensive rating, but that has they have fallen out of the top 10. But they're right outside of the top 10. Uh, they were in the top 10 at like 7 or 8, something like that. Defensive rating, the Rockets are at 4. Uh, then net rating, the Rockets are at 5 with 5.1. Um, and then the Rockets are also, uh, I think it's assist turnover. The Rockets are at 4. Uh, or assist TO, I think that's I think that means turnover. And the Rockets are in top 10 of one more stat, I believe. Um, actually, no, I think assist turnover is the last thing. Um, but the Rockets are playing great team basketball as well. Ime Doka is doing a really good job leading them as their head coach. He has been incredible. I think he's an early candidate for head coach of the year in the NBA right now. Al Prensingun, what he is doing needs to be acknowledged. He is averaging 19 points per game right now, eight rebounds per game with six assists per game, and he is the fastest center in NBA history, uh, your youngest, youngest or fastest player in NBA history uh, to reach 500 assists. I think it's the youngest center in NBA history to ever reach 500 assists. He's been incredible for the Rockets, and it needs to be acknowledged. Fred Van Vliet's been great as well, averaging 17 points per game and eight rebounds or eight assists per game. Is top five in the NBA with assists per game. Jalen Green is averaging 19 points per game with five rebounds per game. Dylan Brooks, the impact he is bringing defensively is 
incredible right now for the Rockets. He is in changing the Rockets' identity on the defensive end. And so are other players as well, like Jay Sean Tate, Tari Eason, who are doing a really good job for the Rockets defensively. But Dylan Brooks has been the leader of that Rockets defense so far, which is top five in the NBA. And the Rockets are playing just all around really good basketball right now as a team. Sangoon, Jalen, Fred, Dylan Brooks, all playing great basketball. I think another another three guys who are very underrated on this team who are doing a really good job. Javari Smith Jr., Tari Eason, and Jay Sean Tate are bringing a really good impact to this team. And keep in mind, the Rockets are also one without one of their best defenders on the team and their backup point guard, Amen Thompson, who is dealing with an ankle injury, their fourth overall pick in the 2023 NBA draft. So what the Rockets are doing right now is incredible, and I believe they are here to stay. I believe they will end up, they're not going to stay where they are right now. They're not going to be a top four seed in the Western Conference. And if I am wrong, I, I hope I'm wrong, but I think the Rockets will be a sixth, the sixth or seventh seed in the Western Conference this season, and that is good enough to be in the playoffs. I know, that, you know this. I think this team has, you know, has a chance to be better than that. But to be at the six or seven seed at the end of the season, with where you've been at in the bottom of the West, at fourteen and fourteen and fifteen and fourteen in the last two seasons, that would be incredible for the Houston Rockets. Um, I'm really hyped about this team right now. I think they are capable of winning a couple of their next couple games. You know, they face the the Clippers. Look at what the Clippers have been doing right now. I think that's a winnable game for the Rockets. They already then they face the Lakers. They've they've already beat the Lakers in the past. I think they can do it again, even though this one's on the road and Anthony Davis will probably be back. Then the Warriors, that's probably a loss, but who knows how the Warriors will look. The Rockets competed with the Warriors last time when they didn't have Draymond Green. When they had Draymond Green, this time they won't have Draymond Green. And Curry is not 100% healthy right now. He might not be able to go for that game. And then they face the Grizzlies. Do I really have to explain the Grizzlies right now? They're the worst team in the NBA right now. Or the Magic. I'm sorry, not the Magic. The uh, the Wizards have probably been the worst team in the NBA. But I think the Grizzlies are, are right up there as well. Um, but yeah, the Rockets are doing a lot of good things right now. And it needs to be acknowledged. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Thoughts and peace out. Go Rockets.